Hello Sagittarius, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be a love reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It'll be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Sagittarius watching. So keep that in mind. Check out your other placements for more messages. Sometimes those can resonate more. We're just going to get right into it, Sagittarius. Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius in love? What messages do you have for Sagittarius? This is the Ojo Zen Tarot deck. I'm using it as an Oracle deck. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed, and commented. I really appreciate it. Especially those of you who have taken the time to leave me such sweet comments. Thank you so much. All right, for your Sagittarius, please, Spirit, in regards to love. Ooh. We got experiencing. Very interesting card. It reminds me a lot of the Nine of Pentacles. Not sure why, but it does. Um, I'm thinking growth as well. Anything else for Sagittarius in regards to love? Isolation. Someone here could be single at the at the moment or recently single. Let's see, feeling maybe um, going through a painful situation because this person has tears. Beyond illusion. Okay, so someone here is seeing things for what they truly are. Anything else for Sagittarius? One more, please. In regards to love change okay so it's similar to the wheel of fortune this is similar to judgment but I, again i'm using this as a as a oracle card so it looks like some of you are experiencing some pain or heartbreak or feeling isolated at this time um, someone could be recently single or just experiencing some growth due to change change that's happening in their life at this time in their relationship or within a connection um, with Beyond Illusion, I'm seeing that someone is seeing beyond the surface of something here. Um, there's been a realization here. Let's see what the tarot has to say. This is a Druid Craft Tarot deck. As you can see, it's like the size of my hand. So please bear with me as I try to shuffle this. Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius? messages for Sagittarius please okay what messages do you have for Sagittarius spirit in regards to love Knight of Wands reverse okay that could be the illusion right there Knight of Wands reverse um, has a hard time committing also extremely impulsive Queen of Wands reversed okay Knight of Wands also could be coming in and out of your life. Three of Cups upright. Nine of Wands reversed. Six of Pentacles upright. What else for just Sagittarius, please, Spirit? In love. The Hangman. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the Hermit upright. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Uh, doesn't have to be this is someone again i'm getting the sense of this experiencing card here and the feeling of isolation as well someone has been um, withdrawn has withdrawn from a connection or has felt alone in a connection someone here is seeking um inner wisdom to make a decision of some sort with the hermit someone's thinking deeply about something here I have here the Prince of Wands reverse, which in this card is the Knight of Wands. And as I was saying, this is someone who finds it very hard to commit to something. Um, extremely impulsive, almost erratic, um, doesn't finish what they start type of energy. Um, this could also be someone with a short temper. Um, someone that, that goes in and out. Um, not someone you can count on, okay? Um, so you might be... Uh, doing this to someone else or this is someone doing this to you uh roles can be reversed guys so feel free to flip them as they resonate um 
and also the timing is fluid so this situation could have already happened be currently happening or happen in the near future following that we have the queen of wands reversed this is not a happy camper here with the queen of wands reversed this is someone with a short fuse someone that could be extremely upset about something um, this is also someone um, she's my home wrecker card as a reader someone who um, takes 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 and doesn't really care um, who they affect right they're only thinking about their own um, temporary fulfillment their own temporary pleasures here with the queen of wands reversed um, this could be a fire sign aries leo sagittarius doesn't have to be same with the knight of wands but um, more than anything, I'm getting that someone here is like turned upside down regarding this situation, possibly fed up with this Knight of Wands reverse here. Queen of Wands reverse is also someone that craves attention. Now I am going to um, clarify all of these, but this is just what I'm seeing right now. We got the Three of Cups here, some sort of reunion coming together here, celebrating something. Um, could also be um too many people in a, too many cooks in the kitchen uh so there could be people involved in your connection or um you know it's probably like a friend group family group or something like that something's going on with this three of cups i'm not getting the best energy uh, um out of this three of cups um that's why i am mentioning interference of some kind um nine of wands reversed uh this could be someone i mean it depends on how i clarify it but this could be somebody who um, is ready to give up is um, completely exhausted to the point of like they don't care anymore um, this could also be someone who was previously guarded and is letting their guard down so we'll see we'll see what that's all about this could also be someone who has bad health or their health is declining due to um, everything that they're kind of carrying inside we got the six of pentacles upright this is someone giving or receiving something here um, Someone could be putting in more effort than the other person. Someone could be um, wanting to make a situation balanced again um, with the Six of Pentacles. Someone could be needing help from someone as well. And then this Hangman, this is telling me um, this Beyond Illusion card. Someone's seeing something here from a new perspective, a new angle. Uh, they've gotten some sort of clarity. Um, but there's no movement here with the hangman. Nobody's doing anything about it. It's more thinking, right? This hermit energy. More thinking rather than doing. So let's see. Let's get some clarifiers here. Spirit, help me clarify this for Sagittarius, please. The Sagittarius need to know regarding this connection or this situation. Let's start with this Knight of Wands reverse. Just, thank you. Two of Wands, Two of Cups. Wow. Two of Wands, Two of Cups. I feel like this was a, a good connection at the start. You thought this was your soulmate or vice versa. Um, there was a, a partnership here that was very strong. Um, you thought you had found the one is what I just heard. But someone couldn't commit and now um, it's possibly because they had their eye out at the potential of other things the whole time. They wanted to have their cake and eat it too. Uh, this person was always kind of looking outside of the relationship for something. Uh, it doesn't have to be another person, but it could be. Let's see what else can I get here. Oops. Tell me more about this Knight of Wands reverse. Can you tell me? For Sagittarius, Knight of Wands. Six of Cups reversed. Someone here could be um, someone. Okay, I'm getting a few things. Hang, bear with me. My mind is going a mile a minute. I'm getting a few scenarios. One scenario is that someone um, is in a relationship because of the memories or the nostalgia of how it once was. For others of you, this is someone stuck in the past, unable to let go of a past connection, and it's affecting your current connection. Someone here is stuck in the past, and it's causing them to decide on a different path or want to go down a different path. Bottom of the deck, I have the Four of Swords. So there could be... Um, 
There could be a pause in a relationship or just, um, I'm getting this energy of mentally checked out. Like someone's there, but not really there. You know what I mean? Um, someone is in a relationship, but they're mentally or emotionally somewhere else. Let's see. What's this Queen of Wands? Re I'm going to put that back. What's this Queen of Wands reverse, please, Spirit? For Sagittarius. That was a Two of Pentacles, by the way. Why is this Queen of Wands reversed here? This could be you, Sagittarius, fed up. <laughs> we'll see. This Queen of Wands here. Five of Wands. Yeah. This Queen of Wands is fed up. There's a lot of arguing, um, possibly envy jealousy not seeing eye to eye just not not progressing in the relationship here tell me more about this queen of wands reverse there's that four of swords again someone could be thinking about this situation about how something's not working out thank you yeah there's that five of swords words have been exchanged it's not just been arguing but also hurtful communication as well um, this could be someone trying to take advantage of a situation, um, trying to like one up someone else um, as well. Bottom of the deck, I have the Knight of Pentacles reversed. It's almost like someone possibly wants to commit, but can't for some reason here. Because the Knight of Pentacles reversed. I think of him as a knight that has good intentions, but just keeps getting blocked along the way. Possibly is procrastinating. His finances, his or her finances are not in order. So it keeps them from progressing forward. It takes way too long for them to get some something completed here. Tell me about this Three of Cups for Sagittarius. What's this Three of Cups doing here? The Hermit again. Tell me more about this Three of Cups. Thank you. Page of Cups. Oh my goodness. Let me get one more, please, for Three of Cups for Sagittarius. Ten of Pentacles. What I'm seeing is that someone here, it could be you or the person you are in a connection with, wants to reunite with someone else or wants to come together with someone else. Um, they are seeing their future somewhere else. They're picturing uh, stability, security, and long-term commitments. It's, it's almost like that's what their, their, inter their focus is on now. And whatever is this here is not enough. There has to be a change. This is just an illusion. Whatever they're in, they're an illusion. They feel alone in a connection, kind of, is what I'm getting here. Someone could also be wanting to be single in order to approach someone else. This is someone that wants to express love, wants to offer possibly um, an apology, but more than anything, I'm getting someone here wanting to express love uh, to someone else. Possibly a Virgo here, someone with Virgo in their chart, or just someone else, right? Someone outside of this connection. Could be a third party situation, doesn't have to be. Bottom of the deck, I have the Strength card. Sign of Leo here. This could be someone um, wanting or needing to find the courage to make an expression of love. Um, this could also be someone who's trying to control their emotions here, trying not to let their emotions overwhelm their, their, uh, ration, rationality, no, their reason. There you go. I don't know why I forgot English there for a second. All right. Tell me about this nine of wands reverse. What is this all about? Thank you. Four of cups reversed. the world reversed. My goodness. Yeah, there's like renewed interest here in something that wasn't closed, something that there, no, someone didn't get closure and it's like they want to go back through that door. Tell 
Tell me more about this Nine of Wands reverse for Sagittarius. The Lovers reversed, Sign of Gemini here. It's almost like someone wants to go back to a relationship that didn't work out. A relationship that they had given up on. There's renewed interest. There's, there's no closure. Someone could also be refusing to close a chapter that needs to be closed here. Almost like this renewed interest is not... It's almost like a, an illusion in and of itself. Like this renewed interest, something that you weren't interested in before, you're suddenly interested in again, but it's not going to lead anywhere. Yeah, eight of wands reversed. It's not, there's no movement. There's no progression. There won't be any movement or progression. There won't be any action here either. Um, there will be there's going to be a block i wonder if this person knows but um there's going to be a block it could be that someone here wants to let go of a relationship that's not working out that they feel alone in that um they they've been hurt by and someone here doesn't want that chapter to close um they're trying to almost talk this person into staying that's for some of you tell me about the six of pentacles Tell me about the Six of Pentacles for Sagittarius, please. Three of Cups reversed. This could be a, a third party situation. Um, it could also be... Like the party's over. Whatever was fun at one point is no longer fun. We got the Emperor and the Four of Pentacles clarifying the six of pentacles someone's holding back here that was my dog guys please excuse him um someone's holding back here they are taking control over the situation this could be an aries you're dealing with doesn't have to be um someone's taking control of a situation by holding back If this is a third party situation, someone has made a choice to go after one of these, one of these people here, or someone has held on to someone else this whole time. This emperor is decisive. It's almost like this emperor took matters into his or her hands and um, broke up this party. Bottom of the deck, Queen of Swords reversed. This is like a harsh person. This emperor, um, when they did, when they made this decision, there was no emotion behind it. It was all logic and reason and you know, a boundary that had to be drawn no matter how difficult it was. And I have a, a sense that it was difficult or will be something difficult because time is fluid. So I don't know what, if this has already happened or will happen. But with Five of Swords here and the Five of Wands, there's going to be a huge fight here or disagreements about this. This Queen of Wands is, the, is not going down easily. So this Emperor is going to have to really step it up to rebalance the situation here. Tell me about the hangman. Tell me about the hangman for Sagittarius, please. Two of swords. Again, I get the sense this hangman is not moving. It's kind of stuck thinking, thinking. Tell me more about the hangman. Also in this, um, in this photo or this image, the hangman has like a piece of lettuce in his mouth. Um, so I'm getting the sense that someone here is not speaking about, it's almost like they're not communicating here. Thank you. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm getting the sense someone wants to make an offer somewhere else. 
or wants to invest somewhere else. Tell me more about the hangman. Judgment. Yeah. This is all about a realization, clarity here. Something has happened, a change in someone's perspective. They're viewing things in a, in a new light. For others of you, this person, this page of pentacles wants a second chance with someone from the past that they haven't been able to let go of. For others of you, this is someone who wants to invest somewhere else, whether it's someone they know or not. But it's like this is their dream, a ten of pentacles. This is their dream, their, their goal is to be in a family unit that lasts the test of time. They don't want to have to worry about someone that cannot commit or is in and out of their life or doesn't know what's going on or is hot and cold. They don't want to feel alone in a relationship. They want an equal partnership. And so they're looking or thinking about where to go next. I feel like this could be divinely guided as well. I have an angel here uh, with judgment. Um, I also have an angel over here with the lovers. Two of cups. There's angel wings in this photo as well. You know, I'm seeing angel wings everywhere. So I'm thinking that this was meant to be um, due to, you know, divinely guided um, energies here. And this up here, this change card, this is the Wheel of Fortune in the Major Arcana. Um, again, divine timing. Bottom of the deck, there's another angel. Temperance, there you are, Sagittarius. Someone here is trying to make something work for themselves with temperance. There's a lot of... Uh, patience here patiently waiting um for the right time to leave a situation the right time to um like it's almost like someone is like this is clearly not for me i'll patiently wait for my ten of pentacles it's the energy that i'm getting there and again i i see another angel and it's like almost like this this is something that has been almost whispered in someone's dreams or something like that you know it's almost like their guides or their uh, spirit itself is is slowly opening this person's eyes and that person could be you or this other person that you're dealing with it could be your future partner as well if you're single this is someone possibly coming into your life but right now it looks like there's conflict Either with a current partner or somewhere here, there's there's conflict. It could have been a past relationship for you as well that has left you kind of yearning for something better, you know, and it hasn't come maybe. Um, and, you know, it's like you're alone here. Isolated. I know we're all isolated right now, but, you know, emotionally. Otherwise, I'll leave it here, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope it resonated with some of you. If it did, please leave me a comment. Let me know. I love hearing from you. Thanks again to everyone's like, shared, and subscribe. Please consider liking or subscribing to the channel if you enjoy my readings, and I'll see you in another video. Take care.